Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered about the mysteries that lie beyond our world? The cosmos is a vast expanse teeming with celestial bodies, each with their unique story to tell. Among them are asteroids, these silent wanderers of space, often overlooked yet they hold secrets key to understanding our universe. Today, we're focusing on a celestial heavyweight, the largest asteroid in our solar system, Ceres. Named after the Roman goddess of agriculture, this dwarf planet is more than just an oversized rock drifting in space. Nestled within the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, Ceres is a world of its own, brimming with enigmas that have kept scientists on their toes for centuries. Its icy crust and potential reserves of water ice, along with the intriguing bright spots dotting its surface, make it a subject of intense study and speculation. Today, we delve into the enigmatic world of Ceres, the king of asteroids. Our story begins in the early 19th century, when an Italian monk turned astronomer named Giuseppe Piazzi first spotted Ceres. On the first day of the 19th century, Piazzi observed a tiny distant light moving against the backdrop of stars. He had stumbled upon a new celestial body, a discovery that would forever change our understanding of the solar system. Initially, Ceres was classified as a planet. It was the first object discovered in what we now know as the asteroid belt, a region of space located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This was a time when the definition of a planet was still fluid. And so, for nearly half a century, Ceres held the title of the eighth planet in our solar system. However, as more celestial bodies were discovered in the same region, astronomers began to question Ceres's planetary status. It was smaller than any known planet and shared its orbit with numerous other objects, a trait not seen amongst the planets. This led to a new classification, and Ceres was rebranded as an asteroid, the largest in our solar system. But the story doesn't end there. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union introduced a new category of celestial bodies called dwarf planets. Suddenly, Ceres found itself promoted once again, this time to the status of a dwarf planet, the only one located in the inner solar system. Throughout this journey of discovery and reclassification, Ceres has remained a fascinating object of study. Its unique characteristics and potential for harboring water ice make it a compelling destination for future space exploration. Despite its small size, it's a world filled with potential, a celestial enigma waiting to be unraveled. This was the beginning of a celestial mystery that continues to captivate astronomers today. From a planet to an asteroid and then to a dwarf planet, Ceres has been on quite a journey. And as we delve deeper into the cosmos, who knows what other secrets this king of asteroids holds? Ceres, the largest resident of the asteroid belt, holds a bevy of secrets within its icy crust. This colossal asteroid or dwarf planet as some prefer to call it, measures a staggering 590 miles in diameter. To put that into perspective, it's roughly equivalent to the width of the state of Texas. This celestial titan is not only the largest of its kind, but also one of the most mysterious. Lying beneath its rugged terrain, scientists believe there may be more fresh water than all of Earth's fresh water combined. A mind-boggling thought, isn't it? These vast oceans of water ice are hidden beneath a rocky surface, shielded from the harsh emptiness of space. It's like a cosmic treasure chest, waiting to be unlocked. The presence of water on Ceres isn't just a hypothesis. It's backed by compelling evidence gathered by NASA's Dawn spacecraft. The mission revealed signs of water vapor plumes erupting from the asteroid's surface, suggesting the existence of a subterranean ocean. This discovery has sparked a flurry of scientific excitement, opening up endless possibilities for extraterrestrial life and human colonization. But it's not just the potential for life that makes Ceres intriguing. This icy behemoth also holds clues about the early solar system. Its composition, structure, and evolution could provide insights into the birth of planets and the formation of our own Earth. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of Ceres, we're not only exploring a distant celestial body, we're also journeying into the past, tracing the cosmic history etched into its icy crust. Each discovery, each revelation brings us a step closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. The tantalizing prospect of water on Ceres raises questions about the possibility of life beyond Earth. As we continue to explore this king of asteroids, who knows what secrets we may uncover? The journey has only just begun. Our understanding of Ceres took a quantum leap with NASA's Dawn mission, 
launched in September 2007, the Dawn spacecraft embarked on an ambitious mission to study two of the most significant bodies in the asteroid belt, Vesta and Ceres. Dawn's remarkable journey, powered by ion propulsion, took it on a cosmic odyssey across the solar system. After spending more than a year studying Vesta, Dawn set its sights on Ceres, arriving in March 2015. This made Dawn the first spacecraft to visit a dwarf planet, and the first to orbit two extraterrestrial bodies. As Dawn orbited Ceres, it sent back stunning images and invaluable data, revealing a world far more complex than we could have imagined. The spacecraft brought into focus Ceres's rugged landscape, marked by enormous impact craters and towering mountains. One such feature, Ahuna Mons, a solitary mountain standing at four miles high, is believed to be a cryovolcano, further hinting at the presence of subsurface water. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of Ceres's surface are its mysterious bright spots. These reflective areas, most notably seen in the Ocater crater, puzzled scientists. Initial interpretations suggested these spots could be deposits of salt, but further investigations led to the idea of cryovolcanism. Cryovolcanism, or cold volcanism, involves the eruption of volatiles such as water instead of molten rock. On Ceres, these icy eruptions could potentially create the enigmatic bright spots, adding another layer of mystery to this dwarf planet. Dawn's mission also allowed us to study Ceres' composition. Infrared and visible light observations revealed a surface rich in carbonates and clays. These materials, formed in the presence of water, further support the idea of Ceres as a water-rich body. Moreover, the detection of ammonia-rich clays suggests Ceres might have formed further out in the solar system and migrated inward, or it could indicate the incorporation of materials from the outer solar system. The Dawn mission revolutionized our understanding of Ceres and the asteroid belt. It unveiled a world with a complex geological history, hinting at processes usually associated with larger bodies like planets or moons. These discoveries challenge our understanding of how such features could form on an asteroid. From the icy plains to the towering mountains, every feature on Ceres tells a story of cosmic evolution. Each crater, each bright spot, is a chapter in the book of Ceres's history, waiting to be read. As we continue to decipher these celestial narratives, we inch closer to understanding the broader story of our solar system, and perhaps the origins of life itself. It's all about connecting the dots, and each mission, each discovery, is a dot in the grand tapestry of cosmic exploration. So we continue to explore, to seek, to question. For it's in our nature to be curious, to look up at the stars and wonder. And who knows? The answers we seek may very well be hiding within the King of Asteroids series. One of Ceres' most captivating features is its mysterious bright spots. These luminous points of intrigue have sparked a flurry of scientific discussion and speculation. What could be the source of this celestial light show? Could it be an alien metropolis, a beacon for extraterrestrial life, or simply a trick of the light? The truth, as it turns out, may be just as fascinating. The bright spots on Ceres are not the result of some cosmic streetlights, but rather a phenomenon known as cryovolcanism. Cryovolcanoes, unlike their fiery terrestrial counterparts, erupt with icy materials such as water, ammonia, or methane instead of molten rock. They paint the surface of Ceres with a reflective frost, resulting in the distinctive bright spots that we observe. Cryovolcanism on Ceres is a compelling concept, suggesting that this dwarf planet is not just a cold, lifeless rock, but a dynamic world with its own internal heat source and geological activity. Imagine beneath the surface of this distant asteroid, icy volcanoes are erupting, creating brilliant spectacles against the backdrop of the dark cosmos. This theory was supported by NASA's Dawn mission, which detected a type of salt, specifically sodium carbonate, in the bright spots. Sodium carbonate is often associated with hydrothermal activity on Earth, pointing to the possibility of similar processes at work on Ceres. However, the mystery of Ceres' bright spots is far from solved. Scientists are still trying to understand why these icy eruptions occur and what causes the internal heat necessary for cryovolcanism. Is it tidal heating from the gravitational pull of nearby planets, or perhaps radioactive decay from elements within Ceres itself? The quest to answer these questions continues, and each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the enigmatic king of asteroids. These icy eruptions create the enigmatic bright spots that sparkle across Ceres' landscape. 
As we peer into the cosmos, the bright spots of Ceres serve as a reminder of the remarkable wonders that lie beyond our world, waiting to be discovered. Beyond its geological puzzles, Ceres presents intriguing opportunities for resource extraction. This cosmic body, containing a treasure trove of water ice, could be the key to future space exploration and colonization. Imagine a future where spacecrafts don't have to carry all their fuel from Earth. Instead, they could make pit stops at cosmic fuel stations like Ceres, refilling their tanks with water to be split into hydrogen and oxygen, the building blocks of rocket fuel. Ceres, with its vast reserves of water ice, could be the space equivalent of a gas station. This would not only make space travel more efficient, but also reduce the costs and risks associated with launching heavy payloads from Earth. But the potential of Ceres doesn't stop at fueling spacecraft. It could also support future human colonies in space. The water ice on Ceres could be melted and purified for drinking, used to grow crops, or even provide breathable air when split into its constituent elements. Furthermore, the presence of such large quantities of water ice also raises the tantalizing possibility of life existing, or having existed, on Ceres. If life can thrive in the extreme conditions of Earth's polar ice caps, who's to say it couldn't do the same on a distant asteroid? As we continue to explore the cosmos, Ceres could become a vital stepping stone in our journey, a beacon in the vast expanse of space. It's a testament to the potential that lies within our solar system, and a reminder of the adventures that await us beyond the boundaries of our home planet. The abundance of water ice on Ceres could fuel interplanetary travel and serve as a waypoint for future missions. This celestial enigma, once just a speck of light in our telescopes, could be our gateway to the stars, a cosmic oasis in the desert of space. As we look to the future, the King of Asteroids beckons us onward, promising new discoveries and endless possibilities. As our understanding of Ceres grows, so does our fascination with this King of Asteroids. This cosmic journey we've embarked on today, exploring the mysteries and wonders of Ceres, has illuminated the vast potential that lies within this dwarf planet. From its discovery in the early 19th century, to the breathtaking images captured by NASA's Dawn spacecraft, Every revelation about Ceres has added a new layer to our understanding of the universe, and yet, there's still so much more to learn about this celestial enigma. The enormous impact craters, towering mountains, and mysterious bright spots that dot its surface continue to challenge our understanding of how such features could form on an asteroid. One of the most intriguing aspects of Ceres is the theory of cryovolcanism, which could explain the bright spots that sparkle across its landscape. These icy eruptions, fueled by underground reservoirs of water, hint at a dynamic world beneath the surface. This leads us to speculate about the tantalizing prospect of extraterrestrial life and the potential that Ceres could be a prime candidate for future human colonization. But Ceres is not just a subject of scientific curiosity. The abundance of water ice on this dwarf planet presents real, tangible opportunities for resource extraction. The prospect of using Ceres as a waypoint for future missions or even fueling interplanetary travel is a tantalizing one. It's a testament to the fact that our exploration of the cosmos is not just about satisfying our curiosity, but also about securing our future as a spacefaring species. The celestial journey we've embarked on today is just the beginning. As we continue to unravel the secrets of Ceres, we may unlock the answers to fundamental questions about the origins of life in our universe. And who knows? Perhaps one day we might even set foot on this king of asteroids, transforming our cosmic dreams into a reality. As we close this chapter on Ceres, let's remember that every step we take towards understanding our cosmos is a step towards understanding ourselves. The universe is a vast, complex tapestry, and we are but a small thread in it. Yet our curiosity, our thirst for knowledge, and our relentless pursuit of the unknown make us an integral part of this cosmic story. Thank you for joining us on this celestial journey. It's a thrilling time to be alive, to witness and participate in the exploration of our universe. Remember, the cosmos is not just out there, it's a part of us, and we're a part of it. So let's continue to explore, to question, to learn, and to marvel at the wonders of the cosmos. Be sure to subscribe for more captivating content exploring the wonders of the cosmos. Until next time.